Hey there, Jamie Smith, CF Pro Tools, CFProTools.com. Just wanted to uh, uh, give you a quick little tip today. I actually had uh, one of my clients ask me uh, how to do strike through text uh, in a headline or in a text area uh, on a sales page. Say if you wanted to say, you know, the price is now only, you know, and have $39, but now it's $7 and you want to strike through the $39 to just leave the $7. How would you do that inside of ClickFunnels? So I um, wanted to go through and show you quickly how to do that. Most people like to use the headline element with inside uh, ClickFunnels, but actually uh, in order to best be flexible is you should use the text block element. So I'm gonna jump in and show you how to do that right now. Inside my ClickFunnels account, I'm gonna go in here, open up my uh, check, uh, just my test funnel. I'm gonna pop open my sales page here where I already have some of this text, but we're gonna show you how to throw it in there yourself. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit this page. And so this is like what we want to have. Now only $37 is strike through and then $7. So I'm going to show you how to add this. Normally people would add a headline element. And the headline element is pretty limited in what you can do. You can bold, italics, underline, uh, you know, align it differently, uh, left, center, right, uh, or make a link. But that's about it. You can change some uh, text colors and things like that. But there's not a whole lot of formatting you can do. But with the text element, uh, the text block element, you can actually do a lot more. So I'm going to show you how to add a new text block element. We're just going to go into, instead of headline text, we're going to select text block. And then we're going to click add to page and what you get is this uh, lorem ipsum block to start with and so we'll just select that and now instead of being able to edit in line you just need to go in and click open text editor and from here this is going to give you a lot more power so i'm just going to replace this with a now only 39 and then I'm gonna put my $7 in there. Okay, so that's what we're going to start with um, and so we can go ahead and do things like set this to bold um, and we can change the the font color um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, highlight everything and click this little A with the underline. It's going to hover over and say font color. So go ahead and click that. I'm going to make this uh, a red color here. And then what we want to do is actually go in. Um, actually, I want, to, I want to center this as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Center text. And now we can see it centered. And then what I want to do is go ahead and do my strike through first. You can adjust the font size here and make it bigger, but what's going to happen is when you go in and um, if you change, change your font size and then change your color, it's going to bump it back down to the same font size. So uh, I always kind of save that until the last uh, to up the font, font size. So uh, we're going to highlight that. We're going to click this little uh, code here. This is the HTML. So this is going to let you see the actual code. So what we want to do is we want to go in here and we can see what actually gets generated for the HTML markup uh, when we save this content. So what we're going to do is find our dollar sign 39. We're going to wrap this in a DEL tag. just like that and click update. Let's jump back in and it didn't actually, let's go back in here one more time. Wrap it in DEL and the one thing I forgot to do that's most important is we need to go back into the live view. So DEL and then go back into this. Otherwise it takes that and, and drops it out. So now we can see we've got it underlined or I'm sorry, strike through and now let's go ahead and highlight that and let's go ahead and bump our font size up to let's just make this 32 and then we can click update and now you can see it kept our change so uh so basically you're just going to wrap this dollar 39 in um in a del tag inside of your text element and that's going to make that so let's go ahead and save that and then we'll open that page up in preview and then we'll see we've got this strike through text. So that's how to use the text element to create a strike through piece of text if you want to do that. It's quick and easy. Do it with a text element. Uh, hope that's helpful. Hope that you uh, enjoy this video and I'll talk to you again real soon.